Good day, great tens. Welcome to the next lesson in finance and growth. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at another application of our compound interest that is population growth. So population growth is important because it gives an idea of what resources the country will need in the future. And since each person born has the ability to start another family, we use the compound interest formula. Because if you think about it, say for example, I have two kids, which I don't, but let's pretend, and they each have two kids, and then they have two kids, suddenly we've got huge amounts of kids. So basically, it's not a simple interest thing, it is a compound interest thing. So let's look at an example to get to grips with this and again just like with inflation if I talk population growth you think compound interest formula okay you have to know to do that so the current population of Cape Town is 3,000 sorry 3,740,323 the average rate of population growth in South Africa is 2.1 percent per annum and it asks us what will be the population in Cape Town in five years so let's have a look at this we've got a P, I, and N. They want to know what we're going to get out, so that's what they're asking. The principle is what we started originally, which in this case is 37403323. Our interest is always in the decimal, so it's 2.1 divided by 100, which is 0.021 and the number is 5. So A is equal to P. 1 plus i to the n. So the principle is huge. It's 3,740,323 times by 1 plus naught, 1 plus naught point naught two one. So I'm just writing it straight away as 1 point naught two one, all to the power of 5. And then we pop it in our calculator and we get Let's see, 3740323. Okay, let's check it, 3740323 times by bracket 1.021, bracket all to the power of 5, and we get 4,149,901. 4, 4,149. 901.783. So the population is going to be 4,149,901.783. Now you need to think about this grade 10 because you have to be logical here. Can we have a 0.783 of a person? Well, we can if we think about pregnant women, but let's pretend that that's not happening. So therefore, we are going to round that up. So it becomes 4,149,902 people. So that is going to be the estimate population of Cape Town in five years if they have the average rate of population growth. Let's have another look at an example. According to the latest census, the population of South Africa is 57 million. Wow. 57 million. Is it predicted after seven years the population will have grown to 63 million? What growth rate are they expecting? What growth rate? So they're asking us for our I. So we know that A is the amount we get out entirely. So that is 63 million. At the moment, our population is 57 million. Yo, that's a lot of people. The number of years that we're looking at is seven, and the I is what they want. They want to know what growth rate we're expecting. So let's look at our formula. A is equal to P, one plus I, all to the power of N. So that is 63 million equals 57 million, one plus i all to the power of 7. So again we want to get the graph bracket by itself so what do we do? We divide both sides by 57 million. So before I do that I'm going to cross out those zeros and cross out those zeros. I'm just dividing by a thousand and let's divide by another thousand there and another thousand there. Life is good. So now we've got 63 over 57 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 7. 
So to get rid of the 7, what do we do? We find the 7th root. We find the 7th root. So in order to do that, we can't just do the one side. We have to do that to both sides. So in order to do that, we're going to get out our calculator. So let's get out our calculator. And you'll see that this button here that says root x square root thing. So we're going to be using that button. So we go 7 shift of that. So this is the seventh root of whatever's in that little square root sign. And then I've got 63 divided by 57, close bracket, and I get 1.014. So I've got 1.014. So we now know that 1.014 is equal to 1 plus i. Therefore, i is going to be 1.014 minus 1, therefore our i is going to be 0 0.14, but remember that this is a decimal and we need to convert it back to a percentage. So how do you do that? You times this by 100 over 1 and we end up with 14%. So what were they thinking? They were thinking that we would have an average growth rate of 14% which would give us this population growth. So that's it, grade 10. That's it for population growth. Not too difficult. The only thing tricky about population growth is to remember that it's a compound interest equation. Right. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.